Alright guys, this will be part three of the retractable motor system repair video, which has been ridiculous, as usual. Um, we were just getting ready to power this up when I ran out of memory, so we are going to test our servo and see if it still makes that noise now that it's been taken out of the case. And uh, so far, not really going to be surprised if it does still make a noise. Throttle cut is definitely on. This thing is loose, so it causes all sorts of grief. You need to hold still, let the uh, receiver get homed. Okay, we're good. So now, um, oh, we're unplugged from the servo uh, from the controller right now, so. I'm just gonna slide in just enough to to be able to test this. Okay, so I've got that pulled back, and we're gonna plug it into auxiliary two, which is the bind plug of the Lemon RX. Okay, so I just heard it move. Okay, so now this thing's very obviously not fully assembled at this point. I don't know if it's like a slow moving deal or looks like the auxiliary two I had set to move slow because that was the gear for us. So I'm going to actually change that to normal. See, and, and this is what concerns me the most, is that now that it's all disassembled and everything, the thing seems to be moving pretty securely. Whoops. That's why you have throttle clip, guys. So now, while we've got it out, let's just hook on something that's going to simulate load for us. So we'll just hook these forceps onto here nothing special about that just simulating some torque it's almost like it's working okay now it's handling the torque like really well that's a lot of load actually Now let's load it a little bit. I would be amazed if there was that much load just moving that motor up. So I don't know if we've already fixed the problem or what the deal is. But uh, for now, I'm honestly at a loss. I'm not sure where to go with it. But um, I think for now the only option I really have would be to reassemble it and hope that the problem persists enough that I can articulate the problem to the people that can send me replacement parts. Uh, the trouble is if the problem has been resolved, and it's possible that it has been resolved now, um, that would have just been an assembly issue, which is, should clearly be covered by warranty. Uh, so I'm just going to assemble this real quick and just make sure that by tightening the screws it doesn't cause things to bind, maybe. Make sure the cabinet doesn't fail or anything like that, which I've seen a million times on servos, especially cheap brand servos. But this looks to be actually a pretty high quality servo. Um, I don't know why, for the love of God, that you would make a servo that's metal gear and then put a plastic gear at the beginning of the drive. That seems totally counterintuitive to me. I'm sure somebody was like, well, if it gets to an overload condition, then it'll just it'll just rip out the gears. And I'm like, okay, well, when you have a Metal Gear servo, you don't want the servo to be the failure point. You want the other crap to be the failure point. So, but, I mean, it's just me. So let's move it again. 
Okay, so now let's torque load this again by applying these forceps, which again is not a perfect analog, but at least it, it gives us some analog, some simulation. And, I mean, I mean, it's like windshield wiper strong. I'm really surprised how strong it is and how seemingly effective it is. I don't know, guys. I'm just sort of reluctant to build this back together and then find out that Tower Hobbies is going to be like, we're just sending you a new Argus. So, I think for now the only option I have is to kind of let this one go to bed for tonight and then wait for morning, and we'll see what they say. And hopefully what they say is, we're just sending you a new fuselage or something like that, which kind of sucks because then I have to redo the tape on the front leading edge. And But, you know, honestly, you've seen how much time I've wasted on this. So that would be nothing compared to what I've got into it so far. And to be perfectly honest, that that would probably make me happy. So, um, I mean, i got to redo all this crap anyway, so they might as well send me a new one. Um, but my guess is they'll be like, oh, we'll send you a new servo just a different brand and not the same same kind so it's not going to work but uh luckily i've got the video footage so i can put it back together so for now thanks for watching guys don't forget to like and subscribe i will keep you in the loop and you will know what what comes of this situation even if it's horrifically bad and uh just keep watching for that and we'll talk to you as soon as we can